Shalom, shalom, shalom. Why would we want a world without Russia? Putin on Moscow's nuclear doctrine. This came out March 7, 2018. President Vladimir Putin recently startled the world by unveiling Russia's advanced nuclear arsenal has again spoken of nuclear arms, clarifying the circumstances in which Moscow is prepared to enter a nuclear war. Certainly, and excuse me, and I quote, certainly it would be a global disaster for humanity, a disaster for the entire world, Putin said in an interview for a Russian documentary, The World, the world Order 2018, adding that as a citizen of Russia and ahead of the Russia state, I must ask myself, why would we want a world without Russia? And it says, listen to us, Putin unveils a new Russian nuclear arsenal. Even though Putin admitted <clears throat> that any conflict in, involving the use of nuclear weapons will have dire consequences for humanity, he would maintain that Russia would be forced to defend itself using all available means if its existence is put at stake. A decision on the use of nuclear weapons may only be taken if our ballistic missile attack warning system not only detects a launch but also predicts that warheads would hit Russian territory. This is called a retaliation strike, he said in their interview. U.S. eyes encircling Russia with 400 anti ballistic missiles, Russian Deputy Defense Minister. Russia's latest edition of the nuclear doctrine allows the use of nuclear weapons and the response to a nuclear attack against Russia or its allies or to a conventional attack that threatens the existence of Russia. Putin also denies Russia was interested in pursuing a nuclear armed race, saying that to begin with, we did not start this nuclear bomb was first de developed not by us, but by the U.S., he said in the interview, pointing out that we have never used nuclear weapons, although the U.S. used them against Japan. On March 1st, Russian president unveiled a set of brand new Russian nuclear weapons during a State of the Nation address. The list includes the newest intercontinental ballistic missiles, the ICBMs, which has virtually no range limit high precision high hypersonic missile systems as well as nuclear powered drone submarines and even combat lasers and all these announcements came amid moscow's growing concern over u.s policy and retaliation to the nuclear arms and missile defense putin told nbc's megan kelly's today that a new arms race has been started by Washington when it decided to withdraw from the 1972 Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty back in 2002. The U.S. then proceeded with a massive buildup right on Russia's doorstep. In the following years, the U.S. have virtually encircled Russia with its missile defense installations, in particular by stationing them in Romania and Poland, it is also for the first time deployed a battery of Patriot long-range anti-aircraft systems to Lithuania for war games. Last week, Alexander, former Russia's deputy defense minister, said that the number of anti-ballistic missiles deployed in the vicinity of Russian borders as a part of the U.S. military buildup could soon reach as many as 400. Earlier, the Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, expressed his concern over the U.S. training programs, which involved training the military of Washington's non-nuclear allies on how to use American tactical nuclear weapons, such as such actions violate the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Lavrov said, So the U.S. breaking a lot of treaties. Breaking a lot of treaties. So I just thought that I'd share that with you. Um, it's good to know um, information like this. Um, in case you guys are not looking out for it. I just happened to run across the article. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave it below. If you like the video, please subscribe. 
and share. Please get the news out there. We need to protect our loved ones and we need to start really getting ready to move out of the cities. Um, I'm, I could just see the death. All right, guys, I love you. And I pray that the Most High and Yahushua keep all the children of Israel and all of the elect 144,000 and saints, Jews and Gentiles free. In Yahushua's holy name, Amen.